What's good? What's up? I'm back with some spiritual me messages to keep in touch with y'all. So here we go. This is going to be, I did an Aquarius love reading. What's happening in your love life? So this reading is going to be about Capricorn. It's a Capricorn as of now. So let's get into it. I hope y'all can see whatever the case may be. We are going to pull from my deck, you know, my homemade deck. I got quite a few homemade decks, or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to use a different one this time. Okay, we have um, the High Priestess, Intuitive as Fuck. Okay, so whoever, uh, I mean, so Capricorn, you're very intuitive. You feel me? So. Hold on, let me see this open. Okay, so you're very intuitive, High Priestess. So let's get that out the way. Uh, let's see what else is what else needs to come out. Okay, okay so uh, High Priestess, you're dealing with. Um, the um somebody in the military or somebody in the navy capricorn okay spirit is telling me that if you are in some type of relationship or um you could be married that as of now you are happy because I have the sun. So you're happy. Feeling very joyful. Successful. And um, good fortune will be coming your way. Or this could mean that you are unhappy. Not uh, happy with your success. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe you had some term or some setbacks or whatever the case may be bad fortune or whatever maybe there could be disharmony or discord in your relationship is also what i'm picking up on maybe you're miserable or whatever the case may be and you could like want something better it's also what i'm feeling like maybe your partner is you know in the navy or military works a lot you know may not have as much time or your y'all may not have like that connection y'all once did when y'all first, you know, was together or first met or whatever the case may be. And you know that you feel what I'm saying. It could be an older energy or you could be older or y'all both could be older energy. We do have, wow, it says December the 21st or 1221. So there's something significant about those numbers. We do have Capricorn. I don't know if y'all see Cap at the top. In 1221. So I'm feeling like um, this person could play, be playing mental games or mind games with you. Could be a controlling, very um, overbearing, you know, like a little needy, selfish a little bit. Um, and I see change, 555, five, five, turn your life around. So somebody most definitely is not, you know, as happy as they portray themselves in this marriage or partnership. It says, so there might be some, some term or some secret, some lies, some deceit or whatever the case may be. It says you and your partner needs to compromise, 2727. Okay, Spirit, please give me some more messages when it comes to this Capricorn, please. Maybe you've been trying to go on a spiritual journey and go within and been healing is the energy I'm also picking up on. Let's see what we get with my other day. Spirit, please give me some more clear messages when it comes to this Capricorn energy. I, I most definitely do feel like somebody... Um, 
Overworks their self or is hard. A hard worker. Yep, because it says hard work. And it says Knight of Pentacles doing the motherfucking work. So I feel like Capricorn, you is trying to go on a spiritual journey or is going within doing the work. You feel what I'm saying? And the other person could possibly <clears throat> be into work, working the ass off. Or doing the work also mean you're working your ass off when it comes to your spiritual journey or uh, when it comes to healing is the energy I'm picking up on. Okay, so we got the Emperor and we have uh, Three of Swords. This is telling me, looking at this Emperor card and this uh, Three of Swords, it's telling me that um, this person has broken your heart. There is some, uh, could be some secrets or some lies. Is what I'm getting in. This person came in, came in rushing in fast into your life. Um, it all happened so quick before you know it. You know what I'm saying? There was a long term commitment and things of that nature. Um, I feel like maybe somebody stepped out the relationship, if not cheated. Like, yeah, I do feel like somebody could have stepped out in this relationship. Or there could have been, like I said, some, some cheating, deceit, lies, betrayal. When I see stabbed in the heart, I feel like stabbed in the back as well. And I don't feel like that you are over the past or what this person has done to you. It's also the energy that I'm picking up on. It says 59, leave the past-ish behind new beginnings and explore freedom. So... Just live in the present and let the past be past. Be in the past. I mean, if you're not going to let it go, ain't no need to hurt. Hold on to hurt. I feel like you wanted to leave this connection. I mean, this relationship plenty of times. It says mad that you done. I don't got time for that. So maybe you wanted to leave or you already left this person behind. You feel what I'm saying? Who's toxic or whatever the case may be. We have five of pentacles. So maybe you did leave this person behind. Or this could be your energy where when it comes to finances, it's not looking too good. When it comes to uh, your health, it's not looking too good. When it comes to working, it, things are not looking too good. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Like as of now, somebody... Is feeling cold or left in the cold. So heartbroken is the energy I'm picking up on as well. And I feel like could have been some broken promises or whatever. Like maybe this person promised you the world or whatever the case may be. And you're not getting what you thought you'd get out of being with this person. Things change when you live with certain people. This person is very uh immature, foolish as fuck. Um I also feel like this person is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's also the energy I'm picking up on. That's who you could be dating. There could be some secrets, some lies, things hidden, or some 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 illusions or whatever the case may be. Spirit, please give me some more on this um, Capricorn energy, please. Got the tower. Okay, maybe you found out. Maybe something has happened in the past, and you wanted to find it the strength to leave or something did happen in the past and you did find the strength to leave and you could be dating a Leo. But anywho, um something has happened, caused you heartache and pain and, and betrayal and you feel like heartbroken and you know, um trapped. You was feeling trapped or still feels trapped and you haven't left. You haven't built up your strength to leave. You feel what I'm saying? It's also the energy I'm picking up on.
If this person, like I said, could have cheated, could have lied, could have stepped out, whatever the case may be. But you may not have found the strength to lead this person. Maybe you feel like you in too deep. Maybe y'all share, you know, what I'm seeing a family. But you most definitely want to, you know, move forward. It's also the energy that I'm picking up on. Or you're finding your way. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you could be going on a journey. Maybe you're going to relocate. This is also the energy that I'm picking up on. Uh, we have the star. Like I said, maybe you're doing some spiritual healing. and Maybe you could be very uh, a loving person or empathetic. But people view you in this energy. Or you've been doing some medita meditation or uh, talking to your uh, talking to the universe, and or you also could mean that you've been going in nature a lot or been just going outside a lot. You feel what I'm saying? We have chaos, conflict, and confusion. So that's the that's uh, the energy that I'm also picking up on. That your person possibly causes chaos, conflict, and confusion, or this is you um, who is causing um, chaos, conflict, and confusion. Maybe this is your energy. Let's see. Okay. okay, so we do have the high priestess. We do have um intuitive as fuck and the empress. So, like I said, maybe this is you <clears throat> who is uh causing chaos, conflict, and confusion. Or this is you and your partner. Going through back and forth and shit because maybe he can be like very uh selfish, controlling, or evil and shit. You know what I'm saying? Very guarded over his possessions and values, and you know what I'm saying? Has outdated thinking, outdated beliefs, and wondering why he's not getting no, you know, moving any further than what he's gotten, or things are the way they are. Because his need to control people, places, and things around him is the energy that I'm picking up on. If you look at the face, that's an older energy. And the way his face looks. Spirit, please give me some more messages. Okay, so y'all could have more than one child. Is the energy that I'm also picking up on. Somebody needs to relax or, or rest, or there's going to possibly be a, this mean a physical death. Or somebody is most definitely sick. Spirit, please give me some more on this Capricorn. Capricorn energy. Please give me some more. Okay, so we have. Um, Someone is most definitely not happy. On the other hand, someone is most definitely not happy and regret worrying about the decisions that they've made, the outcome of them. You know, questioning shit. Then we have the world. Could have been a... a, a Cycle about to end, or a cycle, a karmic cycle that you needed to learn, learn something from. It's also the energy that I'm picking up on. We have uh, Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, so 
This person is addicted to sex. Whoever you're dealing with or you're addicted to sex. Let's see what else is going on. Spirit, please give me some more on this uh, Capricorn energy. Okay, Capricorn, you might be wearing a false ass mask or your lover is or you're fake and phony when it comes to building relationships and bonds with people because we have uh, it in reverse. We have lover in reverse. So somebody is most definitely not happy in their relationship or marriage because we have divorce or prenup. So somebody is most definitely... Uh, might be getting a divorce or some type of prenup is the energy I'm picking up on. Then we have sex slave. Maybe a person is into um women. I mean kids or teenagers I have an attraction to or younger kids is what I'm getting. We have married. So y'all are married. Let's see we got secret love with that came out live on cam so he watches a lot of sexual things online you could be from chicago illinois so if it's not porn maybe escorts back page or some shit of that nature i'm not too sure this person can be very selfish at times Spirit, so please give me some more does this person doesn't support you mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually? This is an older energy, and you can be much younger than this person because they're feeling exhausted when it comes to work, when it comes to finances, and when it comes to giving you the love that you most definitely need unconditional love. And they're most exhausted when it comes to their health. Then we have the sun on the back, so I'm feeling like, um. This person, older energy, is like tired type shit. Then with his son on the back, I'm feeling like if you are the emperor and the empress in your relationship, um, could possibly mean that things are on the up and up. The son means that, you know, um, joy and happiness and wish fulfillment, you know, things of that nature. Things that are good. Maybe your lover could be in love with a man. Somebody is neglecting their kids. It says child neglect. Somebody is a liar. Could be Ohio or LA is where you're located. Okay. You might have a fake co-worker that's around you. If you are in, like, working, there will be transformation. Let go of the old so the new can evolve to come in. Spiritual warfare. Okay. Let's see, spirit. Let's get some more. Let's cap you. Spirit, give me some more. Okay, so. Somebody uses a lot of drugs. Somebody is suicidal at the moment. Spirit. Somebody's on a, doing a lot, engaging or overindulging in a lot of drugs. Uh, Capricorn, either somebody wants your life or you want somebody's life. Because we, Taurus Virgo, as I said, Capricorn, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn came out again. Kansas Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody might be in secret competition. Could be those signs that I just named. Capricorn, you have someone around you that is uh that can um has kundalini energy and has control of power over people when it comes to just looking at them. They can read thoughts and pick up on energy very heavy. And they do have natural hair, and whoever this person is, um, they're most definitely uh, protected. The angels, uh, the guardian angels, protecting them, and men, and they're manifesting your, their dreams in abundance. So maybe this is the person that you know 
who is very intuitive or somebody around you could possibly be chosen or a guardian angel. So I, I'm guessing spirit is urging you to watch out for this person and they're highly protected. The universe and their spirit guides and archangels is protecting them. So this person has natural hair. Okay. So be careful of that because if you're trying to, you know, maybe there can be, you maybe you're trying to get over on somebody. It's also the energy I'm picking up on. And it'll come back to you because we do have, as I said, that we do have malicious intent. We have wife and husband and we have fight. So maybe you're projecting your own insecurities and things of that nature onto certain people, picking and choosing who you want to love or showing favoritism is also the energy I'm picking up on. Maybe there's a lot of gossip, not just between your relationship or your marriage, but you know, within your family dynamic. I'm also seeing distant and no connection and bisexual. So maybe you are still confused about, you know, what you want. Or maybe that's a secret. But anywho, um, you keep your distance with certain people that you shouldn't keep your distance with that has not wronged you at all. Also, the energy I'm picking up on this person could have long nails or you could have long nails. We have father in reverse. So maybe um, your father, something happened to your father or he's deceased. We have sneaky. Somebody is very sneaky or you're very sneaky. <clears throat> Spirit. It says uh, Freemason. Maybe your father was a Freemason. 33rd and 3rd. Okay, spirit. Somebody did some black magic or you did some magic on someone. We have karmic. You could be dating a karmic. Something with obesity. Maybe somebody is into animals having sex. Someone is trying. You're trying to break some one of somebody. Okay, it says family members trying to break your spirit. So either your family is trying to break your spirit or you're trying to break somebody's spirit around you. <laughs> you faking like you love them, but you really don't. I'm hearing fake love. So, yes, yeah, somebody uh, did get cheated on. Somebody might have some type of STD. We have the ending to a cycle, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, again, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody is greedy, very controlling, wearing a false mask, very toxic. Somebody is stressed the fuck out when it comes to their heart or their love life. Um, it could be possible that an uh, ex could be trying to return or you're going to go back to an ex. Somebody is bored as fuck when it comes to a connection. Somebody's father is jealous or have some type of jealousy or envy toward your family or possibly even toward you is what I'm picking up on. The energy I'm picking up on. Spirit, give me some more. Give me some more, Spirit. On this Capricorn. Yeah, bad energy. So somebody has a fake ass false friend around them. Watch your circle. Watch your friend. Or who you call or consider your friend because this bitch is possibly out to get you. We have bad energy and the tower. It will be a tower moment. Something gonna go down. It says hotel room. Maybe uh you're about to take a trip or when you do take a trip, you have to pay for somewhere to lay your head or whatever the case may be. So I'm feeling like maybe um something significant gonna happen on this trip or in this specific room or hotel room and listening to my intuition, you need to follow your intuition because something I write when it comes to this friend, somebody is pregnant. We have a new addition to add it to the family, but we got it in reverse. So you know what that means. Okay. We got riding a goat. That means Freemason. So, okay. So somebody is highly protected by their spirit guides who is passed on. It's the energy that I'm picking up on. Who is uh 
protected. Yeah. That's the same thing I'm picking up on. We got something about sex magic. We did just see hotel room. Hmm. Change handcuffs. Okay. Someone has some type of mental illness. We have favoritism. Like I said, Capricorn, you're showing favoritism to someone or something. Um. Okay. So we have mother in reverse and drugs on the back. Somebody pops a lot of pills or takes a lot of pills or is addicted to pain pills or meds or crack cocaine or has a friend who is addicted to crack cocaine or coke in general or heroin or meth. Then we have a mother who um, is in reverse. Maybe something is going on with your mother that you don't know about or this could possibly mean that you you there's some discord or you don't like your mother's energy I'm picking up on. Yeah, Illinois, Wyoming, Germany, New York, Missouri, Nevada. Spirit, give me some more in this Capricorn reading. We got big bully. We have addictions, so you have some type of addictions when it comes to so uh, specific drugs. Capricorn, it's time for you to change, or things, or people, places, and things around you. Something needs to change. Spirit, give me some more. We have pregnant. Somebody's pregnant, and you're stubborn, or your lover is somewhere around you is a uh, stubborn as fuck. Somebody is a predator. What else, spirit? What else, spirit, would you like me to know? Okay, there's going to be some type of death or physical death. We have funeral in 2021 and 2022. Capricorn. Fake friends came out twice. You better watch your, your fake friends. And Capricorn, you might have a family full of narcs. A whole bunch of people who's in denial. Or you are the narc. And you act like you love everyone, but you really don't. Not very that, not that compassionate as you say. Or show that it, as many as emotions that you say you do. Um, you wear, Or you could be wearing a false mask. Or people around you are wearing a false mask. I feel like there's a situation where Capricorn, if it's not you or your lover trying to play people against each other, it's family or you and other people going against other people. Basically, you playing family against family or friends against friends or starting shit low key, possibly white waiting for uh, the outcome of some shit. I feel like somebody's dealing with a sociopath or a psychopath, someone who's very manipulative, insane, or very controlling and possessive, a very evil, evil, dark spirited person. Spirit, please give me some more. We got somebody's having sleepless nights or insomnia. We has grand. We got grandma. So somebody um, is about to become uh, a GMO. We got uncle. There could be an uncle who um is trying to. Let me see. Let me see. So there could be an uncle who is uh. Stubborn or in this energy is also what I'm picking up on. Trying to do some slick or sneaky or some slashy. Ain't no telling. Or an uncle is about to find, or somebody's about to find out they're about to be an uncle to a child is the energy I'm picking up on as well. Well, Spirit, please give me some more. We have Shysty. Somebody is about to be an aunt due to a pregnancy. Okay. Someone is a deceitful. Someone is deceitful and a liar. Wow. 
We got the devil flu right out and liquor is up next. Then we have three some or three people. Okay, we got the devil in reverse, possessive, greedy, drugs, obsession of paper pieces, people, places, and things, overindulging in liquor and all types of drugs. Somebody's about to receive judgment for something that they did towards somebody. It could just be the way you treat somebody or the way you speak over someone's life. But someone, um, Capricorn, if it not you, somebody has some uh, attachments or codependency towards someone. Is the energy that I'm also picking up on. Yep. In Capricorn, you could be dating a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, so somebody is most definitely empathetic, could possibly be in a uh, healer, and they maybe have not, you know what I'm saying, realized their power, or whatever the case may be. Somebody trying to set somebody up or engage in some type of threesome or some shit. Somebody's hmm, stepped outside the relationship. And it's getting someone is getting abused mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, and if not physically as well. It's also the energy I'm picking up on. You can be a lighter, a darker, being abused by somebody of a darker complexion. You also could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could also be an Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody's wearing a false mask, portraying themselves to be beautiful inside and out, but they're most definitely evil, spirited. They need some healing and they most definitely need to go within. You could be dating somebody famous who is um, an actor, actress, or producer, or just somebody famous in general who sleeps around. Is the energy I'm picking up on. One of my cards fell on the floor. It says bored as fuck. We got the elites. I just told y'all you could be somebody famous. You feel me? Spirit, give me some more. We have sister in reverse and glasses. So Capricorn, maybe um there's a sister around you who is uh you can't trust, or maybe you're your energy toward this sister, you know, maybe you have a bad spirit toward your own love. Your sister is what I'm getting. And then favoritism came out. So maybe you could be showing favoritism when it comes to your family members. You're picking and choosing who to love more, who to spend more time with, or whatever the case may be. I'm not too sure. But somebody is most definitely demonic and evil and mean spirited. We have Army, Air Force, Military, Navy, Experiment. Military came out twice, you know, so. We know what that means. Okay, Spirit, give me some more on this Capricorn. We have Lover in Reverse. Okay. Maybe it's somebody, Double Ganger Replacement. Maybe it's somebody that you want to walk like, act like, talk like, or whatever the case may be. And the fact that you want to be like somebody else and not authentic, it's going to cause you to have misfortune and bad luck because... You're being evil, shysty, and demonic to um, someone who's a star seed or could be an earth angel. It's also the energy that I'm picking up on. You know what I'm saying? So you never know who when you're who are who you entertain or when you're entertaining someone. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So all those people can be involved. We have mind games and secrets. We have 144, divinely protected. So you never know when you're entertaining an angel. Maybe it's something you're you're doing. It's something you're saying. Maybe it's bad influences around you. We have overindulging. Somebody has sick ways, sick thoughts, and somebody is sick. And we do have 9-11. We have fake family members in reverse, so either you fake as fuck, you're the fake family member, or those signs of people around you are fake family members as well. But people, some, some motherfuckers is wearing false masks. So you're giving me, um, give me some more. Give me some more, so you could live in Detroit. Give me some more spirits. Right. We got uh, Loki wants you. 
So maybe you want somebody low key closest to you, or you want like I don't know, sleeping with them wise or their spiritual gifts. I don't know, whatever the case may be. Anywho, we have kids, adults. Okay, so we have selfish, title loan, accounts, SS, social security number, greedy, uh, PPP loans, passwords, gifts, talents. So maybe that's what you low-key want to steal somebody else's gifts or talents from them or somebody's trying to steal your gifts or talents. I get the feeling seeing business accounts and social security number and loan and time and insurance policy and title loan and things of that nature. I feel like maybe you could deal with like finance, financial things or you deal with tax taxes or the medical field or some shit. Medical like as far as like um Like your personal info type shit. Maybe insurance. If you're not a tax person, you're an insurance person. Maybe you sell insurance or sold insurance or financial counselor or advisor or something. But anywho, I feel like looking at selfish, maybe you're doing some fraud when it comes to certain people. When it's dealing with their their, their uh social security number. Somebody is somebody is groom, grooming teens as far as girls and boys is the energy I'm picking up on. We have black magic, money spills, somebody trying to stop somebody's finances. So this could be why you're miserable and going through what you're going through because you're being evil because you're money hungry. We have mirror magic. Set up angry fire and burn okay lawyer and club mm. maybe you met your lover at a club either somebody wants to be you or you want to be somebody and looking at this last card and i will be closing this read now looking at this last card Capricorn, you could be jealous of someone else's spirit is also the energy that I'm picking up on. Spirit, give me some more. Capricorn, if you aren't already, you need to do some more healing. You need to look at things in a new light. You're going to receive judgment. It's also the energy I'm picking up on. When it comes to like a court case or whatever the case may be. Um, maybe you're judging someone too much. Capricorn is also the energy that I'm picking up on. And while you're worried about other people's energy, make sure you're protecting your energy, Capricorn. Your connection, your love life, ride your way, stay in your lane. Don't worry about other people's uh, blessings because... Yours can't overflow if you worry about somebody else's blessings. You feel what I'm saying? And as I say that, we have 87 cup overflow, financial wealth, wealth in another form of blessings on top of blessings. So you need to be careful with what you say, how you treat people. And you need to most definitely need to open your heart chakra because it's not open like motherfucker think it, it should be we have stuck in stagnation this is why you're stuck in stagnant stagnant in your life and don't not wish to fulfill mentally physically emotionally spiritually could possibly sexually because of you portraying yourself as of light or an angel or sweetheart but low-key inside you're dark you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's causing your stagnation because you're trying to get money out of people or do something grimy, either that or you're evil spirited to people who's not doing you wrong or wronging you. But you're also basically allowing people to do you evil. You're 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 okay with the people who wrong you, but the people who ain't done you wrong, you know, you push them to the side and that's not okay when it comes to people that you portray to actually love or care about so it's like evil is being 
used for good and good is for evil. And you're attracting more evil than good. And it's the same shit, different day. That's your energy all the time. It says, find time to enjoy the experiences that uh, life has to offer. But do the work spiritually and find balance. You're not doing the work. It says, new beginnings took some males, but there's always room for recovery. Okay, somebody most definitely receiving a dose of their own medicine. You feel what I'm saying? There's no balance, no love when it comes to this relationship or a connection or whatever the case may be. And this is only, like I said, it says watch out for your vehicle. Somebody might do some shit to your vehicle out of malicious intent. I don't know why. We have family next that came. So a family member or somebody is using you for transportation. Somebody wants a new heart. Of new partnership, somebody is very deceitful. You need to start meditating at least 30 minutes a day, put some time and energy into yourself. Somebody is very toxic, somebody is very disappointed about the um, about uh, fake connections around you and very unhappy. Uh, fast life, fast lane. Somebody wish they had their childhood back or grew up too fucking quick. It says raise your vibration or your frequency. Okay. Um, someone portrays their self or this is the energy you want to be in. And you see maybe other people around you in that energy and you just can't find it. It's because you're dark. You need to go do some healing. It says, I am a queen. Beauty is her name. Very attractive inside and out. Beautiful aura. This could also uh, mean that um, this the whoever has a positive relationship and things are going on an up and up for them. This can mean that, you know. They're basically, the emperor is saying, this empress is beautiful inside and out. And he has met his queen. So, of course, somebody already know that. They already found some type of connection. Because I got that when it, that when it first came out. And I'm feeling like also, like I said, as I say, if that makes sense what I said, I hope it did. With this uh very attractive, beautiful inside and out. Maybe that's the energy that you want. Maybe you want people to view you in this light. But you have to do some healing inside for somebody to realize that you a queen on the outside and the inside. You need to do healing on in and you need inner and out. Internal and external. I am a strong queen, so I feel like looking at that, then looking at this that came out right after, jealous of your light spirit, and you light up the room, I feel like Capricorn, somebody feels this way towards you, or Capricorn, you feel this way towards somebody in your family, or could be friends, or this could be you viewing everybody like that. Maybe you have a jealous spirit. It's the energy I'm also picking up on. But spirit is telling you, you need to raise your vibration much higher and you most definitely need a new path to healing. That's what I'm picking up on. So if you want that new partnership or that partnership where you know you feel loved on the inside and out, you're loving yourself and then you got the room, the door opening up to leave room for somebody to love you the way you love them, equal partnership. If you want that to come in, you need to start loving on you. Because the person that you're with or talking to or in a relationship with, um, they evil. And y'all don't have a spiritual connection. And you in regret about that. So when you see other people's connections, this kind of disturbs you. It makes you feel some type of. You know what I'm saying? 
So yeah, you just need to stay prayed up, change the way you, you, you see things. You need to have a time moment so you can grow up, growth and development. Um, your heart broke, you're over the shit, you're you trying to move past shit that has happened to your past. Spirit is urging you to stay prayed up. You know what I'm saying? Do some healing. You feel what I'm saying? Talk to the most high. How you talk to people on the street, friends, family, enemies, and foes? Don't talk to the most high. You in seven of swords energy, lies and deceit. Stop being fake and phony and wishy washy, Capricorn, when it comes to people, places, and things. And don't be deceiving people, misleading people, misguiding people, and lying to people just to fit in. Be a leader and not a follower. You feel what I'm saying? We have magic. We have spell return back to center, ex-lover, present, past, or future energy. We have secret competition. Come on, Cappies. Don't be out here secret. Com you, you in secret competition with who? You feel me? That will keep you stuck and stagnant. In this energy every time. Until you learn a karmic lesson or lesson in general. You're going to continue to have terrible moments. You feel what I'm saying? All right, come on now. And then I feel like there's also some immaturity going on. So we have the motherfucking star. So this is Aquarius energy. Maybe Capricorn, you're, you're fucking over a, 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 a divine being, a star. You feel what I'm saying? Star seed or an Aquarius. But this Aquarius is most definitely protected, 1212. And you need to also, it's urging you to step into your power. You're protected as well and to change your reality when it comes to people, places, and things. It says, uh, tough love, things you need to know and not things that you want to know. Spirit guides and messages. So your spirit guides is urging you to keep going when it comes to um, doing what's right. Go within, talk to the universe, talk to your archangels, get in tune with self, meditate, pray, read the Bible. You feel what I'm saying? Meditating could be a bath, a walk, just sitting in the sun for 20 to 30 minutes. Meditating for five, if you don't know what that means, understand and overstand, you have to look for the knowledge. You have to be want to be hungry for this type of knowledge. You have to be want to, you have to want to be hungry to go on this spiritual journey. And once you start raising your vibration higher, your frequency higher, everything that you want to manifest or just want in general will come into fruition you're gonna have everything that you want and need but you need to open your heart chakra you're not fully healed and you're not putting a lot of time in yourself you know what i'm saying maybe you stay in the streets or you're a workaholic or you're a money magnet you're addicted to money or have some type of addictions or just like i said you just need some some healing because either you're toxic or people places around you are toxic and it's time to make a change and don't let work affect your life. You feel what I'm saying? Also, it's the energy I'm picking up on. Once you leave people, places, and things behind that don't no longer serve you, 888, abundance start coming in. Wealth. Thank the universe for the um, signs. You've come very far. So once you start to uh, change people, places, and things, or the way you pee pee, treat people and stop project, projecting your energy onto others, then think the world will be a better place. Your relationships, everything in your life will start to blossom and bloom. You'll be able to see the seeds that you planted. And you could be also miserable, Cappy, maybe because you with somebody who you treated like a king or thought was a king. You know what I'm saying? Or an emperor. You feel me? And you showed this person too much love and you didn't get nothing in return. So you project that on the others. So you need to most definitely, and if none of this fits, just know this could be past energy. And it says, own it. You found love within you, starting to realize love isn't outside of you. Fo, fo, fo. So, like I said, this can be past energy. 
It says 28, old cycle is ending new bonds, connections, new people, new circle. You need a new circle. You need to learn to possibly, maybe you need to, it's time to find your soul tribe. You feel what I'm saying? Divinely protected. You got protection. You feel what I'm saying? It says caution 4141 message warning about a relationship don't worry focus on becoming a better version of you this is all you you need to be open to everything that's around you because there is a lot of low vibrational entities including you you might be in a low vibration and don't know it energy is thrown off your energy thrown off and other people around you and it's time to change that you need to go within you need to do some inner healing. It's time. You need to also protect your energy. We got a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini again. You feel me? So, yeah. It says, I'm much stronger than you think. Well, you most definitely need to act like it. You might have a higher calling over yourself, over your life. But Archangel Michael is protecting you as well as uh, other people around you. Look at things in a new light. We have home and we have past. We have compulsive liar. And release this dark energy. Save your car, your home, yourself, your office. You need to learn what protect your energy actually means, bro. We got the full moon. Somebody could have did some moon magic on you. To get you like this. For real. So you need to stand in your power and do what you need to do. Real talk. And focus on you and be content with you and happy within yourself. And learn that you don't need people, places, or things or materials to make you happy. It says funny to how the tables turn. Harvest your energy and protect and guard your energy. So you could have did something evil Capricorn and the tables turned. Maybe you was dogging somebody. Maybe it was a friend or family member you was dogging. I'm listening to my intuition. You was being evil to somebody or deceitful or lying or playing them or manipulating them or playing with their emotions or preying on their emotions. And, you know, uh, karma came back to you. Is the energy that I'm also picking up on. So, yeah. This uh, I, I'm also picking up on like, um, you gotta have faith when it comes to di difficult situations that you face. Don't let your emotions pull right into your experiences. So I feel like you need to learn to control your emotions. Like, don't let your emotions and things around you stop you from your spiritual calling. This is a spirit, spiritual warfare. Fair. So, it's not nothing physical. And Capricorns, y'all need to understand that. that. You must trust that the angels will be with you every step of the way. Whether you believe it or not. You, 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 you got to know that your angels and your spirit guides is right there with you. You could be a light worker. I said that, Kathy. Get your shit in line. You're supposed to be of light to others. You're not using your spiritual gifts like you should, like the Most High gave you. And when you don't use your spiritual gifts, the Most High take them away from you. You feel what I'm saying? So it says, yes, you're a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light, love on the earth. And that's not what you're doing, Kathy. Your energy is wishy-washy. It's off. One minute you up, one minute you down. You got to fix that shit, man. Your desires will occur in the near future. Have faith, patience. Don't force nothing, bro. And give love as well as if you want to receive love, you must give love. Somebody got married because of stability, money, and finances. So you can't be greedy, Cappies, and think that there's people going to love you and got and be here and happy for you. No, you won't get no love. The universe is urging you. That same energy that you put out is what you want to get back right. If you putting out evil energy, if you gossiping, you feel what I'm saying? If you being evil, picking and choosing who you want to love, showing favoritism, not being consistent. 
You feel what I'm saying? Using people for money or your own selfish wants and gain, gain and stability. You feel what I'm saying? Guess what? You won't get the blessings that you, you most definitely think you're going to get. You're going to continue to have these tower moments, like I said, while the other person continues to be blessed and they cup overflow while you sit back and watch it. You feel me? So somebody around you feel like they too spiritual for a, a lot of shit. You feel what I'm saying? And meanwhile, other people are wearing false masks. And what did I say? Put Wearing false masks. I can't make it up. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my card apart. Putting on a facade in chaos and conflict for what they did. Because some motherfucker could have set you up for some money or some shit. Ain't no telling or use you for some money. And they feeling guilty. It's also the energy I'm picking up on. So I just feel like you just can't trust uh, certain people, places, and things. That's why it keeps saying protect your energy. You think everybody fuck with you or maybe you feel like everybody cool or I don't know what you feel, but at the end of the day, spirit is urging you to protect your energy so you can ascend and stop being stagnant in life and have the want the life that you want. This is spiritual warfare, spiritual calling. You ain't stepped into your spiritual calling yet. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what spirit is saying, bro. Like it says, listen to your spirit, guys. If you don't know who that is, you have to look up and do research yourself, bro, and go within. Is the energy that I'm picking up on. Real talk. What did I say? Spiritual welfare. You feel me? And it's like you need to focus on what's going on. On a what's uh beyond the surface on a, a deeper level, bro. You are being stuck, stagnant, and gonna continue to have these terrible moments and things of that nature because of blockages, unhealed. That's why you had to be in solitude, or you are in solitude. If you aren't, I mean, if you this not the past energy, this present energy. When you're going on a spiritual journey, you will be isolated in solitude alone a lot. You unheal and you need to go within and decide what it is that you want. Spirit, give me some more. Let go of codependent. People, people who codependent on you. You got people, friends, family members, foes, associates, coworkers, neighbors. Let them go. It's about what did I say? Let them go. What the word say? In the word, it say what? You must leave people, places, and things behind that don't no longer serve you. It don't matter who they are. Just because you was born into that family, don't mean that that's your soul family. Because you might share the last name and someone don't mean that that's your soul family. Because you have the same parents, that doesn't mean that that's your soul family. Follow your intuition and your inner knowing. You know you want better. You know you're tired of seeing the same results, living the same way. You know you're unhappy. You know you're miserable. Don't fake the phone. We got chosen one. Don't give up on yourself is what spirit is urging you, bro. Self talks, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Don't give up on life. Don't give up on yourself. Your reward's gonna be coming in soon, sooner than you think. But you need to heal, bro. Caps, it's time to heal. It's time to be patient. Stop being greedy. Stop having these addictions. Stop being controlling, possessive, evil. All this other shit. Then this wishy washy energy. Heal so you can get your abundance that needs to come in. Follow your intuition, Capricorns, so you can move forward into the life that you desire to live. Y'all like, you like nice things. You work your ass off. You feel what I'm saying? You have to work so hard if you let, if you heal yourself, you feel what I'm saying? Move forward. Stop chasing after people, places, and things and let shit come to you. Be a money magnet. Let shit come to you. You feel what I'm saying? Release the past and things that don't no longer serve you is what I have. We also have
progress. That's when you will start to make progress and see good coming out of things. Things are about to change for you. You feel what I'm saying? Stop second guessing and doubting yourself being insecure. What did I say? You probably been going, you probably started your journey. You say go into nature, long walks. You could be married. I already said that you could be possibly married. And somebody could possibly be coming back from your fat past. I want you back. I want my family and kids back. So, yes, that's the energy that I'm picking up on, y'all. I'm about to be out of here. Y'all have a blessed day.